I've been using the uh, Xmega 384C3 demo board here and it has uh, been concentrating on the OLED display here learning, trying to learn how it's driven in ASF using Atmel Studio and the Atmel Software Foundation their library of uh, drivers but uh, I'm an amateur, don't exactly know what I'm doing and I found it very complicated um, but what I'm going to try to do is uh, give you a simple example going through the code line by line and basically um, just uh, changing uh, one of the port pins uh, to an output pin and follow that code um, through Atmel Studio and the ASF and uh, kind of uh, you know, see where that leads. Start as a simple example before getting into more complex um, areas with the USART and transmitting the data to the LED display screen. And I get, get, we can get a general idea of the, uh, how Atmel has set up um, their modules and their verbose C programming language. And I can just get a general idea of how everything's organized. So, um, when you use uh, Atmel Studio, you can click on the icon up here and pull up um, so when you use Atmel Studio you can pull up um, you can click on the icon here the ASF wizard and I'll bring up a list of the uh, libraries available and we're just using the IO port uh, general purpose service and then over on this side you know, you get your solution explorer and you can click on your ASF explorer and I uh, give you access to the quick start guides and uh, they're kind of a cryptic um, guide that doesn't go into a lot of explanation just how, how to basically get started using uh, some of these libraries You can see here in this uh, in this example, uh, they're using um, one of the LEDs, and this function here, I'm going to set the pin direction for one of the LEDs on the board as an output, and so that's the part of the code we're going to concentrate on. This is one simple, which isn't really that simple uh, function to. Um, to turn the uh, LED that's on the uh, demo board and uh, that, that pin that the LED is hooked up to uh, change it to output now that mill has uh, organized their peripherals into modules in this case because you know, we're looking at the, uh, the ports um, the ports are organized as modules, basically as structures, and uh, with offsets. Um, so you start at, at port A, and and it goes in ascending order from port A to port B to port C, depending on how many ports are on your microcontroller. And each one is uh, considered like a module with a fixed base address, basically starting at port A be a fixed base address and then an offset for each um, each port and in the, the, the program that we'll be looking at is like a, an offset of um, hex 20 I guess that's 32 bits um, for each of the um, each of the ports you can see here in the manual uh, for the Xmega C um, for the memory address locations, the ports listed here, and you can see port A starts at um, hex 0600, and you'll notice that the offset is 20 because port B starts at 0620x, C it's 0640, 
60, 80, etc. Noticing that each offset is 20. And uh, they use this as a way of um, organizing all their modules because they have a lot of different boards and um, a lot of different chips with varying numbers of ports. So this has all got to be organized and all used, you know, by uh, ASF. Um, so we're going to kind of go over the organization of that and how they manipulate it and use it. That's that's kind of I think one of the reasons they use this. Um, it seems like a convoluted process, but it's a way of organizing many different boards and many different chips, and uh, allow a, a code to uh, be portable across all those different boards and those different types of chips. Now for a little study today, we're just going to concentrate on this one function, this arch IO port set pin direction, and we'll be using LED zero on the board, and we want to set it as an output. So digging down into the code, let's look at the um, LED itself first. Um, so if you right click on it, go to implement. <coughs> excuse me, in the implement, implementation, um, you can see here there's a defined statement with LED zero. Define it as LED zero general purpose I/O. All this macro does is change LED zero to LED GPIO, which is then defined up here LED zero GPIO, and they use this macro here an IO port create pin and um, if you look at the uh, schematic on the uh, the board I was just uh, talking about the uh, the Xmega you know demo board with the OLED display um, you'll see in the schematic that the um, the LED 0 is hooked up to um, port R on pin 1 on the microcontroller um, so that's why this macro here is used and uh, right click on this macro and uh, we'll look at it so now what it does is it takes basically the word IO port and concatenates or however you say it with uh, with the port that we're using in this case it's port R so um, what this macro doing is taking the, uh, like I said, taking this word, joining it with uh, port R to create basically, like you see down here, IO port A. And you'll see all the, uh, the ports listed and for uh, different boards, different microcontrollers, and they're all assigned a, n a number. And this is part of that scheme uh, as far as the, uh, the ports in, are stacked in an ascending order from that base address um, with the 20 uh, hex offset. Um, so this is kind of what these numbers are. They're, you know, they're just assigned in ascending order uh, for each of the ports so that all the different boards and different microcontrollers and their ports can be, um, you know, can be given a number and uh, can be found. Um, so, so back to this macro statement uh, where we're creating the pin and the port number. Um, so it takes it and uh, takes basically, like I said, your T IO port uh, port R. And uh, if you go down, I think it was yeah, there's port R. It's given the number fifteen. Okay, and so it's basically it's going to be 15 times 8 for the the number of, of pins in the uh, in the you know in each port that eight, has eight pins, and then the actual pin number that we're using in this case because it's it's going to be port R pin zero, uh, then then this will be a zero. So um. So basically, this is created. This is defined um, LED zero as fifteen times eight plus zero. Assigned it that number.
and you can see down here the Isle Port base address listed you know as, uh, as hex um, 600 and remember from uh, from here um, see where the port see port A is the first port and they start at 600 and do the offset and move up from there so you can see where those numbers are coming from All right, so um, that's the LED zero, the IO port uh, direction output. I'll right click on that. That is a um, enumeration. So basically, just a way of assigning a name um, to the output, and you'll see in the function later that uh, it'll be used as a in an if, if statement as a comparison. To, to, to act basically asking us, you know, what are we trying to do? Are we trying to set the uh, pin as an input or are we trying to set it as an output? And it'll just be used as a comparison for uh, what actually we want to do. And um, then we get into the nitty gritty here, the actual um, IO port uh, set pin direction function. So I'll right click on that. And you can see it here, arch aisle port set pin direction. It uh, has the uh, the pin number that we're going to use. In this case, it's LED zero, which remember was a macro, uh, making that combination of the uh, port and pin number. And then the other parameter is the enumeration, the uh, aisle direction output or input. In this case, we're using output. And um, you can see here is um, the if statement uh, as far as using the enumeration comparing uh, you know uh, see if it's an output or an input and then it'll, it'll um, execute um, this function we'll get into this later um, uh, so those are the parameters for this uh, for the function and then the first thing that the uh, the function does is uh, create a pointer here called base of data type port T. Now this is where um, this is where the uh, structures come into play. Port T is a is a structure. You can see it here. It's uh, basically it has all the registers in it uh, for the port to uh, change direction, the port data direction on the register set the direction, clear the direction, um, and uh, pin control registers. So um, anytime, you know, that it's, we've declared, a, a, in this case, uh, that base um, pointer is declaring an instance of this structure and uh, will allow us access to change the, uh, actually set the pin direction. So let me go back. So back to this line. So that's what's happening here. Is that this is a this is an instance of this port T structure with all the registers in it, and it's going to assign it um, to the equal setting it equal uh, to this function, the pin to base uh, function. And if we uh, right click on that we see that this is um, calling uh, basically it's a, the pin to base function it is a function that returns a pointer you notice the, uh, the asterisk here as part of the function if you're not familiar um, with this type of function it's, it's like a, a regular function except it returns a pointer um, and um, Ran out of time here, so I will continue part two.